Hello everyone, my name is John Malisondra and today I'm going to teach you on how to paint this wonderful landscape painting. So today I'm going to paint a simple landscape for everyone with a horse running. And please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed it and hit the bell button if you want to receive some future notification my new videos and tutorial. Okay, you can see all the materials needed on the screen. You can see the five limited colors, the brushes that we're going to need and all the things that we need to paint this painting. Okay, so I'm going to start now and I'm going to do first uh, the sketching. Yeah, so it's always uh, planning is always uh, at first. So we need we need to plan what are we going to do, uh, the subject or the composition is very important. So here I have the row umber. So I'll just use this row umber. Yeah, maybe I will put uh, the horse on the pathway. So I always paint the pathway maybe here. And on the pathway, everyone, I'm going to put a little water on it. I want to see the horse reflection. I'm going to put the horse here, running. I want it to have a bigger, yeah, I want it to be a little bigger. Probably a pathway. I can make it a. Uh, can put uh, plants there. Uh, whatever we like, and I'll, I'll put a little water there to make it look wet. Something. So this will be my horizon here, and I'm gonna put some plants here. So my light is coming from the left side. So here, it was right through here, and I will try to put some bushes here maybe yeah I want it to full of lights also some things here on the background I want it to I want to make this part a little dark because I want to emphasize the horse here I'm gonna paint the white horse running so I want to emphasize those of the horse and here I'm gonna make it wet a little wet there and here's some plants whatever come out to my mind I will put it there okay so we have here now the sketching and I'm gonna start uh, painting now and I am very excited okay so I'll be using a bigger brush here the number 10 or number 12 metal rock brush and we're using this one so that we can create the bigger you can paint on a bigger surface faster but you can use bigger than this if you want I also another brush here you can use like this it's also good to paint bigger surface there see but I will use uh, this time because it's already broken okay so I have here the blue with a little yellow and the yeah yellow and the red blue and then white yeah I think I'm gonna put a little red I want it to be a little lighter. This is a background, everyone. I want the background to be a little misty. And then I'm going to put some greenish. Yellow, 
there. Okay, it looks good. And then I'll try to make it a little darker. Blue with the raw umber. Yeah, here. Yeah, maybe I want to let uh, a season a little here on the side. Maybe some sky. Yeah, I want it to be like that. So blue and white. I want to see some sky here, everyone. Maybe lighter. Not a little white. There. And now I want to put some more greenish and blue. You can also uh, use the top technique to create those leaves there. And maybe later you can put some pine trees here. But here I'm just trying to fill everything with the colors. to make it dark uh, blue on the red more blue and a little yellow oh no romber yeah this is a little dark forest I'm gonna put a little yellow to make it greenish Textures on the trees, yeah. yeah. A little more yellow to make some greenish there. Okay, so we have now this background. I think this background looks good. And then, here everyone, I'll try to make some, uh, make some uh, field here with the plants. So I will try to make some orange first. There. And yeah, some orange. I want the field to be a little orange mixed with greens or whatever some blue umbers it would be mixed with different colors because uh, I want to put some greenish there okay uh, a little yellow my brush everything is a little broken <laughs> That is fine. Uh, it can create better textures also compared to new brushes. There. And here I have to roll over to create the pathway. I'm gonna mix it with a little white. This is a dirt road, everyone.
just white on the raw umber and you can create uh, the color of the dirt road Another white and the raw umber. You can create textures on this because uh, it's better to create those beautiful textures and the raw umber. This, those textures are going to create beautiful, uh, realistic. mud or so else here so i want to put my horse here he's running towards us it's a white horse there yeah it's all minutes now and I'm, I'm not done with the other painting so here a little yellowish or yellow green oh with some red i can put some more red there To create some uh, trees or uh, bushes here, like that. Okay, so yeah, I think I am done with the underpainting, and I think I am ready to start with the background yeah it's a little wet but i think this, this is good this this is fine for me if i'm going to create those background now because uh, this part will be wet so i'm going to start now adding the details and i'm going to start you know this part first so i think i will start on this part yeah so it's, a, it's now dry and i will start on this part I'll put some trees there and I will be using the bristle flat brush there I need to put some room on my palette some dark greens okay I need more yeah so the same color everyone blue yellow and red and a little blue umber yeah so here yeah I will put some trees here Maybe I will put some pine trees on the back. Okay, but here I'll still put some trees first. There, just use the tapping technique and use this bristle flat brush. I'm using the number 10 bristle flat brush. This one everyone will be covered later on so do not do not uh, do not make it so good so here I want to make it more greenish 
So I am mixing it with, with yellow everyone to make it greenish. Also here. I'll just blend to background everyone because uh, background is still uh, wet. So I have to blend. Yeah, I just have to blend it here. <laughs> I just destroyed what I made earlier. Okay, and here I want it to be also darker. So on this part, everyone is a little far, so the, the texture of the the leaf should be smaller. this part here there okay yeah and then I'll try in the back part maybe I will try to put some pine trees here but it will be a little misty or yeah wet I just let that part dark and also here I will just blend it here okay and here I'll try to put more On the background, I will try to put more uh, uh, greenish. So here, I'll try to make this a little greenish color. Yeah, I'll just have to blend it on the background because I want to show that uh, there's other colors there. Blend it on the backgrounds. That will be good. and maybe I will try to put some openings there so I will be using a smaller brush now this is the number two on the flat brush smallest flat brush I want to use this uh, just white and blue more white everyone This is the sky, everyone. That means that we can still see the sky there. Okay. Not just there, but also here. Okay. 
Okay. It doesn't have to be very, very smooth or perfect. It's okay. There. So at least you can see some openings there. That there's something on this back, on the back of this forest. Yeah. And then maybe here I want to make it a little lighter. Uh, blended lights. Okay. Now I will try to create some highlights. So maybe first I will try to put some uh, tree trunk. So I'll be using this double uh, zero flat uh, round brush and some raw umber. Yeah, here. You can add a little water. it for now I'm going to create some highlights first a little highlights so yellow and the blue Get white a bit more yellow here everyone you can create the topping using the topping technique maybe a little more yellowish or a little darker And the light everyone coming from the left side so again my light is coming from the left side there okay and then I will use some uh, more bluish then white so this time this will be highlights but it will be in the dark side Just a little push everyone. Here's the topping technique. There. Okay. 
I want I will add more white. I'm gonna put more here. There. Okay, so here is part of one, even if it's uh, dark, you can see lights there. Yeah, yeah, that looks good. Even uh, this time, it's really, really cute. It looks pretty realistic. I don't want, I, I don't want to put any printed lights there because I will put the, uh, the horse there and it will be covered some parts. So it will just be useless. And here on this part, everyone, I'm going to put some grasses here very bright grasses I will try to use this light yellow with white The light coming from the left side. There. Okay, I'm using the bristle flat brush again. And on the back part of that, everyone, I'm gonna put a dark tree there. Yeah. So here I have the uh, blue, yellow, and the red. Maybe a little umber. Umber. And here everyone, I will try to put some dark there, some dark, because this part will be dark, there's no light here. And also here, I will try to put some dark, I'm gonna move a little here, maybe in this part. Okay, there you go. And then, also in the background, everyone. Okay, now I'm going to start adding some highlights. Here I have yellow greens. Tapping technique, everyone. Okay, can you use the tapping or yeah? So you have no highlights. Yeah, I will remain this part dark because uh, there will be the lights hitting this part. Okay, I'm gonna mix for a little 
orange red and yellow maybe in this part I will try to create a different type of tree Stopping the knee. There. Okay. I'll try to blend more. Maybe I will need to have more yellows. And make sure to clean your brush. We have your red and then yellow. I'll try to make it a better. stopping technique everyone there okay just a topping technique It's hard to it's hard really to do it on the other side because I am right handed. And to erase a little. I'll try to put some um tree trunk there I want to see an existing tree trunk yeah the so umber and then I'm gonna use them white there and I want to use some more raw umber. I want to put some more tree trunk. And I want to put lights on the tree trunk. Maybe I will use a smaller brush, the liner brush. I thought this looked like a birch tree. Okay, and then I will try again some highlights using this little orange colors. There, it's better now.
Okay. Yeah, that will be good for the background. It looks realistic. Yeah. It's now 38 minutes, everyone. I'll try to focus. There. And here where I'm going to improve this part. It's just a light green uh, with white. Again, just a tapping technique. Also here. Okay. Now I will try to put a little more yellow. On this part I want this to be really uh, look like uh, it's a uh, just plenty of lights here I want to look like I want to make it look like that so I'm gonna put more yellow and also here I think it's raining outside This part went to really looking glow, glowing. I'm gonna mix it for a little dark colors. So here everyone, it's just a tapping technique. A little darker uh, greens with yellow. I want to put it here. this will be some grasses everyone but I want this part to be really glowing with grasses not just that but I want to make it a little orange mix it with red so just do it like that everyone just drag it down like this
um, so I like this orange colors uh, grasses everyone but I, I just have to spread it here to create realistic effect of grasses there okay yeah yeah it looks good now it looks realistic yeah that's really good okay so now I'm going to uh, make it make this part glow more okay so I'll be using this small flat brush I have here some yellow maybe some yellow first do it one by one there just use the pure yellow and just to use the number one or number, number zero liner brush uh, liner brush or round brush So just do it one by one everyone. I like also this style because I can create those uh, details, very nice details. I want to put white. I want to see that I want that uh, this is really glowing with the uh, colors, uh, lights. Like white also will make it look like that there's a reflection of uh, of uh, uh, on the leaves that leaves look like shiny or something like that something like that it's a uh, takes time for this process but it is supported So at least it looks glowing now. I really love those details there. It looks pretty good. And it looks glowing. Yeah. I like that. Yeah, and then those things there it looks pretty good and realistic. Even just simple uh, doing like that. So here I have the... Uh, I mix it with the uh, umber and white. I don't like this brush. <laughs> this brush is not good now. Maybe I need a new brush. Yeah, I will try to put... Uh, uh, 
know, something like that. A small tree. Maybe he's about to fall or something. And then I will try to put some. Leaves. Maybe some yellow green for now. I'll just use this yellow green here. I'm here with white. And then I'll try to put some white. Look like a shiny reflections. It has some shiny reflection there. Yeah, okay. That looks good. Yeah, I like this painting, it looks pretty simple, but I can see that it looks pretty good and realistic now. I can see the entire view and it looks good. Oh uh, yeah, maybe here, but I will try to put more, uh, maybe much more bluish. I'm going to add some blue and then white. Okay, at least you can see there that uh, there's still parts there. But it's on the dark side because it's uh, color is a little bluish. So it's on the, on the dark side. Yeah, so far it looks good. And then I will try to use my fun brush. I don't know where's my fun brush. Okay. my fun brush it's anywhere here okay so I have here a yellow I'm gonna I'm gonna mix it with a little red uh, let's gonna paint some grasses there just tapping technique everyone I don't want to scatter it so much here. I want some parts to be hit by the darks, covered by darks. So I don't want to scatter it here. You can just leave some more lights there. And also here. Put some white. Maybe I'll just use the other brush. So, yeah, make it like an abstract to make it look like uh, it's plenty of different 
types of grasses there and it's glowing with lights so it's very very good so you need to make it look like it's glowing with lights okay i'll make this pathway first then i'm gonna start adding the horse yeah that will be my plan okay so i want this pathway to be really believable uh, i was trying to sketch my horse first I am using a new number one in a brush. Oh no, I mean zero, for zero. I just do one burn white. So I'm planning my horse here. So on this part, maybe bigger. Yeah. Yeah, on this part, so that it will be hit by the lights here. So it should be this part. Okay, that will be my plan. And maybe later I will just sketch. For now, I'm going to create the lights of the pathway. So here I have this uh, number eight nylon press brush, and then I will mix for put some yellow. Mm -hmm. I have here some yellow and the red. Yeah. It should be warm color everyone for the highlights so here it's orange and white more yellow but i want orange yeah more orange color red and the uh, yellow Okay, and not just everyone, but also here, I'll try to put a little lights hitting this part. And I'll try to make this part a little with water, something like a water. So they can I can have a little reflection on the horse. Maybe I will put more umber and then white. Okay, so again, some little orange. Also, oh, everyone, I don't want to put lights everywhere so maybe on this part only there so now I'll try to make this on the on the part of the water darker so maybe I'll try to use this room umber.
This is like a muddy road now. is to have a little bluish color yeah okay maybe more room for everyone Yeah, this is like a muddy water, everyone. Uh, you could put water there, something. Yeah, maybe I will move more. But we should make the road look like wet. Okay, so it's now a little challenge for me now. Uh, I don't have any re reference on this, everyone. So I'll just do my best to make it uh, look realistic. Okay, and then I will try. I'll just use this uh, raw umber with white to create a mud, everyone, to create a realistic mud. Because uh, on the wet mud is always uh, wet uh, soil or mud, it will always look dark. So I'm using this little darker colors. it will always look darker that's why we need to make it darker here so this will be uh, an advanced painting everyone this will be an advanced tutorial so actually it's good for the beginners to learn even me I am learning and while doing this one because uh, not always I'm doing like this I'm just thinking or uh, I, I'll just think or I just rely on my observation sometimes because I always love to observe things on the nature and I try to think how, how can I paint this something like that if I see things and it's a beautiful thing so especially like this one when I observe after the rain and you can see water in the mud something like that to look like a small stream but it's not a stream I'm thinking how to paint this one so I'm trying to replicate what I had in my mind and put it here so it will be very challenging this paintings will be very challenging for me so yeah maybe maybe not it will look Ah, good yeah but it's not done yet <laughs> it will be much more I need more lumber yeah here also I need to put some shades on the darks Now I'll try to 
uh, mix for some purple but I will be using a smaller brush now because I want to create tinier details so here number two nylon flat brush number two number, yeah, number two uh, red and the blue uh, something like a reddish purple and then white more red yeah Can add it here yeah this is uh, the dark sh darker shade everyone I am adding uh, purple for to make it more look uh, cold something like that the color look cold there I'm adding some white To darker so this is a casted shadow here here it's got a shadow here okay I want to put a little more lights. There. Uh, make it a little darker. There. This you can see clearly. Uh, which part is the shades yeah yeah it looks good the purple looks good yeah so here I need to put more uh, make it a little darker but not so much everyone do not overdo it do not overdo this bluish or purple color So the near part you cannot see it. Uh, this purple uh, clearly there okay and then I have here some rumber and in white I'll just cover it a little here. I'll just uh, I'll take some part. Here now, I'll be using some with a little red, raw umber with a little red. Everyone, it should be much more looking brown. Yeah, that's it. We can now start adding some highlights now.
Okay. Yeah, and here also. You can create as many details as you want everyone. So it's now one hour and I'm still very very far from the truth. adding more details here yeah maybe more here I'll try to retouch to create to, to add some brownish stone here because it's all it looks more purple so we need also to to kill those purple colors by adding some brownish okay now I'm gonna use again this orange Yellow and red. There, I put some lights there. The light should be warm, everyone. Okay, so yeah, at least you can see lights there on that part of the uh, of the what's it called this of the pathway. Okay, so I think I'm going to yeah, maybe I will try to put some lines there. I like to put there like that. Yeah, I'm, I will take more time with this painting now. So I have this rumber. Here, everyone outside to put some lines. Also here. Okay. 
so it should be perspective now everyone uh, this part should be smaller and this here uh, should be big there okay make it uh, slowly also a little here okay yeah so at least you can see that lines there uh, road lines on the street that it look like that there's uh, horses there that, or some some vehicles are passing on this part so uh, yeah looks good and then also here Now I'll try to put a little uh, water reflections. I mean, a liter. Uh, first, I'm going to put some highlights, yellowish or orange highlights, a little orange for this. Uh, for these uh, road lines there so can see now those, those road lines are looking great and realistic. Okay, and now I will try to put some reflection on the water. So maybe a little greenish, yellow and uh, blue. Yeah, maybe blue green something from here. Usually, everyone, uh, the water will, if the water is shallow, it will, the, the water reflection will be look like the water. So just light something, or maybe a little yellowish. Something like that. Just create a downward stroke, everyone. will create a reflection on this there Also, you can put some greenish here. There, at least it's now looking. Good. Just a little greenish, everyone. 
not so much yeah at least it's now it's not looking realistic yeah until I'm also here and this one everyone I'm gonna make it a little more greenish And now I'll try to put some um, much more reddish yellow to create the, the because uh, this is shallow water everyone shallow uh, muddy water so I'm going to put some uh, some colors on the on the bottom part or on the beneath this water some colors of the mud uh, usually it uh, look like uh, something like uh, reddish or brown yeah or orange but mostly it's reddish brown so I am mixing more reddish color adding some yellow and umber yeah something like this but uh, more red something like this but actually I should I should put this one first before the before the water reflection because uh, this will create chaos Uh, it's like that you can see the bottom part of the water some parts only everyone do not overdo it some part has, has, has been hit by the lights okay there yeah I think that looks good now okay maybe I'm going to improve that later on because for me I'm not contented yet for that I'm not contented with this thing so I'm going to improve more to put some rumber it will be cut, cut here so colors you want should be uh, darker than the colors that you put in the highlights Okay, and then I'll try to put some highlights now. Very, very important. Now it should be much more bluish, but lighter. Highlight of this.
there okay at least we can now see the highlights of the in the water and this water some parts looks deep but it's fine okay and then I need also to put some reflection here Okay. So I'm going to add more. I think I will add some disturbance there. I like to put some tinier details, everyone, but it will look good. It will make it look like water. <laughs> it's actually hard to create to make it look like water. So here I have some colors here, uh, light blue. I want to make it look like water here. This uh, looks like that is swirling water. And also some parts here. Yeah, maybe lighter. On the side of the of the of the boundary between the water, everyone. I'm gonna put some light color there. This now uh, it looks much more uh, water yeah okay so it's 1 hour 30 minutes now it takes a lot of time just on this part but yeah I think it's it's uh, it was dead okay everyone so I'm going to continue now I'm not going to put so much time on that this is now a very advanced tutorial I will put more greenish here Oh yeah, maybe I'll put more colors on the pathway. I'm using the Bristol flat brush, medium size, raw umber, and white. I'll just adding more details on the road everyone and some more umber There, I will put more rumber to 
separate uh, details, more details here. More textures on the pathway or on the dirt road. And now I'm gonna, yeah, I need to fulfill some paints. for purple, blue, and the red. A little white. Uh, more red. And then white. Yeah, a little purple. Uh, I'm gonna put some blue umber and then white. Yeah, you can mix the purple and the umber, everyone. You can create a different bluish tone. Just retouch. I just want this part to be uh, not so clear. This part, also this part here, because uh, this part should be dark. I don't want to make it clear. I just want to make that clear on that part there. Yeah, mm -hmm. it will be good. I want to emphasize more. Umber and white. more white there okay and also here Okay, yeah, yeah, that looks good now. I can see now clearly where uh, those parts are. I'm going to clean some parts because this one's a little dark. You can clean more, something like that. Okay, yeah, that, uh, it looks like a very, uh, looks like a dirt road there. And now I'm going to add more. Uh, details on the especially in the what's it called this on the um, on the bushes so I have here 
I'm using this uh, bristle flat brush. Only we're using this uh, blue and the yellow, little red, more yellow. There, I'll try to put some. plants here or bushes there I'm gonna put more white a little white there so here's the topping now Okay, yeah, it looks dark there. At, uh, uh, there's no light, but I uh, can still see some details. But uh, that looks good. I can put more bushes. Okay, that's pretty good. I'm gonna put more, I'm gonna put a little yellow. I want some part to be hit by the lights. Even this part of one, you can create, you can put some grasses also. But I want this part to be dark. Oh, there's no light on that part. Even here. Also, this part. This you can still see some greenish tone there that uh, will make it look like that there's grass there there's, there are grasses okay so i want to put maybe i will use this uh number two nano flat brush this one can i use some yellow and then white Let's see the colors. I'm gonna put more yellow here. You can smudge your single fingers. Okay. There. I want to put 
more white there okay everyone so as you can see now clearly those that there are also trees there yeah maybe for now it will be enough because uh it takes so much time maybe i'll just put some more little greenish or yellowish highlights yeah maybe here some grasses everyone it's important to put also some grasses there more yellow there okay so for now it will be enough yeah because uh i don't have any time <laughs> yeah so maybe for now it will be enough for that so i am going to put now the horse there the running horse of course i have the reference i i downloaded the reference from the pixabay everyone so it's copyright free so i have here the white and the raw umber try to make it bigger the fit should be in this part I'm going to construct first the skeleton If you want to sketch everyone, you can also do the sketching first. I want to make the horse a little bigger, maybe. It's okay to make mistake, everyone. It's actually running. I'll 
this will not be easy ruin it so uh, I think this is a little advanced tutorial It's okay everyone if you cover some parts, that will be fine. It's okay also if you commit some minor mistakes, that will be normal. There, okay. I construct now the body. Yeah, maybe I will put first the lights. So, clean your brush, clean your brush. I'm gonna use some white pure white. Yeah, I like to construct the lights now. My one of the most favorite part, adding the lights. Just want to make this very bright here. there so you can see now lights everyone and then also the hair Can you use a smaller brush if you want? Uh, 
this looks like a pretty big horse Now I'm going to add the lights, or the darks. So here I'll be using a flat brush now. This one. The number two nano flat brush. Using the raw umber. So I'll set on the tail. Okay, I'm not sure if that's uh, yeah, it looks pretty big horse, everyone, but uh, it's fine. Yeah, it's fine for the maybe this is a very small road. <laughs> yeah, or maybe this is just a very big horse, but let's get okay. Continue. I will add some darks. So I have the red and the blue. Uh, maybe a little warmer. So the nose. There. And some darks. Darks here. Yeah. And also in the one ear. Okay, so uh, I will now start adding some blendings. Yeah, maybe some purple, red and the blue. It should be lighter, everyone. There, 
I think this is good. Okay, and then also here. Yeah, I can put more details here, everyone, using the bluish tone. Okay. And then I'll try to put more hair. Let's see here. Put some white. lighter so we are, we are now uh, retouching some parts of the horse to make it looking realistic it's very very important also Okay, I think that looks good now. It looks pretty good. Big white horse. Yeah, he's running from the woods. I'll just put more highlights and then it'll be done for this horse. It's now two hours. <laughs> I just have to blend more everyone. I'm not sure everyone. These swords are look uh, bigger on the proportion, on the perspective, but um, maybe this pathway is just uh, small. more lights there okay so yeah it will be yeah, that will be enough for everyone for this tutorial uh, we don't need to make it so good because uh, this tutorial is for beginners so it should be for the beginners so I'm going to put some 
cast this shadow also romber and the blue color maybe here there and then i'll try to put some highlights on this uh, tree there and i think i will be done yeah that painting looks good okay yeah maybe i will i will put a big tree <laughs> near to him everyone so that i can i can create a perspective yeah can create a better perspective for this because uh, perspective doesn't look good oh it's okay for me i think it's, uh, it's fine yeah maybe i'll just put one big tree okay i'll try to put one big tree here yeah white and the red all white and maybe here Just a smaller brush now, and then some raw umber. to this tree to be bigger some white for the highlights So I'm gonna put more highlights. There. And on the other side, I'm gonna put a little bluish highlights. Uh, darker. Some red. to put some uh, branches yeah there at least uh, uh, the 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 horse doesn't look like giant now 
and then I will try to put some yellowish leaves of this tree just uh, using this big uh, brush everyone too much maybe it is to be enough and then some uh, darker leaves here there okay And then, final, I'm going to put highlights on the pathway or the near the road. So I just use the more yellow. Okay. Yeah. So I think I am done, everyone. Yeah, to be perfect for now. Yeah, maybe I'll just put some colors on this tree, everyone, because it doesn't look realistic for me. Maybe I'll just put some greenish. Greenish on the. on the tree trunk on this other side it will be darker there uh, maybe lighter okay yeah there you go so i think everyone i think i am done and the addition of the tree looks good uh yeah it looks everything looks balanced now and i like this tree i can even put one tree here it's also good maybe here it will be a perfect good tree but it's up to you everyone if you want to put a tree here yeah it's also good I suggest if you want to put something I ah, yeah, one more thing everyone before I forgot I should put some water some reflection of the horse on the water yeah just white to be here yeah I just put it here Be a little purple on the other side. Okay. 
there we add it to okay yeah yeah it will look like that uh, there's a reflection on the horse okay everyone so i think i am done it's two hours and 12 minutes all in all <laughs> so it's also take a lot of time for this painting but i think it's worth it because i i try to make it slower uh, for now i try to make everything slow and so that uh, we can we can paint it better for now this is actually an advanced painting everyone um, for beginners you can you can also try this one it will be very challenging for you try to do your best to try this painting but uh, this is really very good and it will be really worth it for you okay everyone so i want to say thank you for watching this video today and i hope you get something out of this and my only advice is to keep on practicing keep on painting the more you do it the more you know how to use your brush the more you will know how to mix the colors that's why i'm using limited colors in palette because i want you to learn how to, know how to mix and get the desired colors you want so please hit like and some comments subscribe for more videos in the future okay once again thank you have a nice day and god be sure all the glory and honor and praises always belongs to the Lord.